In the next few videos we are going to discuss Gestalt principles that are used in UI. They will help you to create balanced and structured UI. Unconsciously you already probably used them, but the knowledge of Gestalt principles will help you to certainly know what to do to achieve greater result. You've probably already heard of Gestalt, so let's first understand what it is. Gestalt psychology is a theory of visual perception developed by German psychologists in the early 20s. They thought that our world is in constant chaos, and our brain, for some marvelous reason, manages to create a sense of it. They believed that the organized whole is perceived as something greater than the sum of its parts, and the word Gestalt is translated from German as form or image. Look at this image. What do you see? A dog? But it's not a dog, it's just some spots on the canvas. Our brain doesn't ask us for reason, it just takes these spots and creates a dalmatin. For our brain the spots are not the separated parts, it perceives them as the whole. It takes the spots and matches them with something it's already seen and new. The knowledge of how our brain does it will help us to create a good visual hierarchy. The first Gestalt principle, principle of proximity. Objects that are placed near each other will be visually grouped together. Seems so simple, right? It's like a common sense. Why do I even talk about it? Well, again in the game I see the same mistakes with this principle. Look at this image, for example. Can you tell the difference? And if you can, which variant is the right one? The correct answer is on the right. On the left, the elements are structured as they are even to each other, they have the same margins between them. But the elements are not even, they have its own groups and visual hierarchy. The smallest group here is input, so it has to have the smallest margin between the input block and the label. The other elements are equal, so they can have the same margin. Let's take one more example. Can you tell the difference now? And what option is correct? I'm sure you are doing great. The correct option is on the right. Let's see what groups we have here. The biggest groups here are of course the item cards, and they should have the biggest margin between them. But the item card is not the only group here. We also have text block and the block of the buttons. So in these two blocks we have the smallest margin. Then we have a little bit bigger margin between image, text block and button block and then the biggest margin between item cards. To check if you've set the visual hierarchy right, you can imagine that all the elements are just the spots. And now look, do these spots group between each other? Do they group as you want them to? If they do, congratulations, you've just learned the principle of proximity. Another way to check visual hierarchy is to squint your eyes. The details of your interface will disappear, and you'll have the same spots so you can check if they group together. The second Gestalt principle, the principle of common region. Objects that share an area within a boundary will be visually grouped together. You might think this principle is even easier than the previous one. It's not design, it's just common sense. And I would agree with you. This principle is so simple and that's why it's so dangerous. Beginner designers often use this principle when they struggle to build visual hierarchy. Look at these shots from Dribble. On the left example you can see that almost all the elements have their own frame. And this should be a red flag for you. If you want to frame almost all the elements, something is wrong with the visual hierarchy. It's a visual trick, when you frame the elements it's easier to put them in the grid. It seems like with all these frames the layout looks better than without them. But the problem is deeper, the problem is in visual hierarchy. Use frames to communicate relationships between objects and not to put every element to the grid. The shot on the right should be also a red flag for you. Look, 120 grams is in the frame, which is in the frame of your body, which is in the frame of your content. If you see that you have to use the frames within the frames within the frames, you could probably improve your layout. One more example, now from the real life. This is a simplified version of a pop-up where you can set a new shift. 
you can either set a new shift or set a day off. If you are setting a new shift, you can also attach the files or mark the shift with the star. Which option do you think better? The correct answer is on the right. File attachments and the star are related to the new shift, not to the whole window. So they should be placed in the area with other elements related to this shift. On the left example, the icons are grouped with the close button by the principle of proximity that we have discussed in the previous video. And this is wrong, because the close button is related to the whole window and other two icons are related to the new shift. By the way, this example can be improved further, because the icons without the labels have lower accessibility. And one more example how you can use the principle of common region. Here we separate with the frame the objects that we want to send out. The third Gestalt principle, the principle of similarity. Objects that are visually similar in size, shape or color will be visually grouped together, even if those objects are not near each other. Let's see an example. I'm sure you are doing great and have spotted the correct version right away. It is of course on the right. The buttons more and by shouldn't be similar to each other. They have different functions. The by button is certainly more important, so it should have the brighter look compared to the more button. Just be careful, don't create a new look for every other button. It's enough to separate secondary and the main buttons. And one more example that you have certainly used is the accent. If you want to jack user's attention, you can put an accent to the element. And here again, it's important not to overdo it. If you put the accent on every other element, you lose user's focus. The fourth Gestalt principle, principle of continuity. Objects that are ordered in a line appear to be related. This principle is often used in navigation. There is a difference between the group of buttons and the navigation that share the same area. It's also often used in mobile interfaces, when you have the series of objects that have to be scrolled. To communicate to the user that elements can be scrolled, the last element is partly hidden. It helps user to understand that there is something more that can be scrolled. Hey, this was video from my free UI design course. Make sure to check the full playlist out and hit the like button and subscribe for more free content about design.